I'm literally watching other people's vlogmas. I have my coffee and I really need to clean this up. Good morning everyone. Welcome to vlogmas day five. Oh my god. So welcome to the vlog. I have literally been laying in bed. Um, I haven't, I don't have work today, thank god. I just have a lot of errands to run. This year I actually bought a bunch of um, Christmas gifts because I have some spending money because of work, um, which is really nice. I have pretty much everyone's gift. I have to go return some things. Um, if you don't know Amazon, like you can return for free at Kohl's. So I'm gonna do that. I have to pick up the thing from Best Buy. If you're my family, don't watch this vlog because later on I'm gonna show like what I um, what I bought for everyone or my cousin or I know my grandparents don't watch my vlogs because I don't even know if they know that I have a vlog channel not watch the end of the vlog I'm gonna gift wrap some things and then I also bought my secret Santa gift me and my friends are doing a secret Santa exchange and I'm really excited for the gift that I got for my secret Santa I think it's going to be really fun not only for like the person but also for like our whole group of friends so it's going to be really fun um the room's so bad right now. Can you see all my mess? <coughs> I um, have a clean room at all because for the past three days I've been working. And whenever I work, I don't clean. So that's why this is so dirty. Um, I'm also gonna go I really want to make some tea or some coffee or something because it's like that weather, you know. Um, and then also, I have combed my hair if you haven't noticed. Also, I need to go to the gym because for the past like three or four days I haven't gone to the gym. And when I do that, I get on the streak of being lazy to go to the gym. But what's nice is like, okay, what's it's not nice, but I do have the energy like mentally to go to the gym after work. Sorry, my nose is still kind of stuffy. I mentally have the like willpower to go to the gym, but physically my job is so like physically debilitating sometimes because you're walking so much. Sorry, I'm like, I got a new phone, so I'm like changing my period tracker. Uh, oh, I was on my phone because I was trying to look up the um, steps. December 1st, my first day of this week, I walked 7,907 steps. Monday, I walked 9,767 steps. And then yesterday, I walked 12,000. Yeah, I did not have the energy to um, work out at all because I just like walked way too much. I really want to work out. It's just like I'm way too tired to. And like, I don't know. But I do work out on my days off. Um, and I did win this like free membership for three months at this yoga studio. But the only problem with it is it's so freaking far. It's class is at 10.30. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I might just do a class later on. See what I mean though? Like, this is Alex's job. I'm going to show you my wrapping. I'm going to run some errands. I'm going to work out. It's going to be a chill day. It's going to be fun. It's going to be less stressful than the last three days. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, look how bad my room is. It's awful um most of the time what happens when i go to work um especially like long days in a row i don't even like bother to clean up after myself i open my windows and maybe now i'll actually you know wake up because look at this rain can you hear it it's so bad um but i do need to do a couple things today i have some errands i need to run to them to run to the store for a couple things um, and yeah, I need to wrap my gifts. I really want to wrap all my gifts and put them under the tree. Um, it's crazy because this year I actually have money. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never really bought Christmas gifts before because I literally couldn't afford it. But this year I actually have like a little bit of spending money. So I bought 
pretty much everyone's gifts already. I think um, I'm just waiting on like one or two gifts to come in the mail. And then I need to go wrap. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to try. But yeah. Your girl finally got ready. Going to return this. Going to pick up my award that I was supposed to get literally when I graduated in August. And... It's fine, it's whatever. We're gonna go return my phone case. I did get a new phone, iPhone Pro. One has a Pro Max. So that was what I found on the internet for my phone case. And it doesn't fit, so I need to send it to like the nearest Kohl's. Oh wow, it's raining hard now. I know no one really cares, but <laughs> what I have to do today, I have to return my phone, pick up my award, I bought um, a gift for um, Best Buy um, and then I want to buy some wrapping paper so I can start wrapping but I might just wrap tomorrow because I might not even have time I also need to get my eyebrows started I hardly have eyebrows but like I don't even know how to explain it like it just doesn't look good so I'm gonna get my eyebrows done um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's all I have to do, actually. Which doesn't sound that long, but they're like all the way to opposite sides. So like, the coals is in like, <coughs> all the, the coals is on the other side of like, Orange County. And then the Best Buy that I went to go pick up the gift at, the other way in LA County. And I also switched my cup out to get some water because I haven't been hydrating that much. For the past three days whenever i work i get really really dehydrated because i don't have enough time to drink water and they're super anal about us having our water bottles out which doesn't make a lot of sense why they don't let us have our water bottles out because like for one they're closed so what does it matter let's return this that was super quick but like when I walked in there, I like looked past the guy because I was like, oh, whatever. And then like the guy was like, do you know who Kathy Bates is? I was like, who the hell? Whatever, I returned my thing. Now I can go pick up my award, which sounds so sad. Like, why am I picking it up? Um, so basically what happened, so I, for those of you who have watched my vlog for a long time, I used to be part of CNSA and I did a lot of like service, um, I remember I um, I hit like a certain amount of hours because of the fact that I like did a lot of service hours, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I did a lot of service when I was in nursing school, so I like qualified for the bronze award, um, which is what you'll see in maybe the next clip. Um, but I qualified for that award and I was like, oh, okay, like, do I get awarded um, during my pitting ceremony and you're supposed to get acknowledged, um, but they didn't. So that was a little bit, like, um, rude because um, I did, oh my gosh. Um, they did acknowledge, like, most of the people. Okay, they acknowledged everyone about me, essentially, was what happened who got the award and I was like, what the heck, what was that all about? And I don't know if it was like an error on the part of like CNSA, I don't know if it's an error on the part of school, I don't know whose error it was, but I wasn't awarded it. So now like months and months later, I have to go pick it up. It was just kind of lame because I did verify with them like a couple months before saying like, okay, well like, I have this many hours, do I qualify for this? And they were like, yeah, you're gonna get awarded at your pinning ceremony. And I have like the email and that email, I remember the day of my pinning, I got really upset and it like kind of ruined my whole pinning ceremony, which sounds super lame. Like why would you let your whole, why would you let like one award ruin your whole pinning ceremony, which you've worked like, what like me four years for. So it was kind of lame. Um, I like ran up to the freaking like coordinator. I talked to whoever was, basically I was like talking to everyone during my pinning ceremony because I was getting really irritated at the fact that like, um, I was the only one who didn't get acknowledged during the pinning ceremony, which was very, very uncalled for. 
Um, I know that it's like mistakes happen, but it was just like low-key traumatic because I was like running up to each person because no one could give me a real answer like what happened. And that's essentially what happened to the pinning um, video. I started vlogging it. I was looking through my my phone or my camera. I was looking through all my footage and I saw that there was footage of the pinning ceremony, but then I stopped vlogging because of the flat because of the fact that I got so upset and I just like didn't want to vlog anymore that day because I was like really in a bad mood. Um, but it's fine now. I'm just gonna get my award and then because of course at the end of the day, like I earn this award and I'm gonna I'm not gonna just like let go of the fact that I didn't earn it you know like like I worked for a certain thing I don't know why like people would think that I would just blow it off and I feel like that's kind of how they thought it would be like they, that I would just blow it off and forget about it but um, no I still remember and I'm gonna keep being persistent about um, receiving my award and my thing. I mean, like, <coughs> it sounds kind of counter, counterintuitive. No, I don't know. Op it sounds like opposite of what it should be because, like, Jasmine, you do all the service and then you freaking expect an award out of it. And at first, like, when I did all those events, like, I didn't expect anything out of it. But now I'm like, that I like asked them like do I qualify for it and I expected to get it at the actual ceremony and they didn't give it to me and that's what really pissed me off and that's why I like felt so like disrespected because on the day of my painting ceremony like everyone else is getting acknowledged but me and that was just so fucking annoying but I'm just gonna go pick it up now um and then I'm I'm already here so it doesn't even matter Okay, so it took like two seconds to get. I finally got it. I should have just asked for them to mail it so I wouldn't have to come back here because when I walked in here, I felt that it was such, like I saw the, I don't know, like the vibe here is so weird. I hate walking in here. It's just like, there seems so corrupted and don't get me wrong, like, I'm so, so thankful that, like, I'm able to be where I am today because of where I was before. <sighs> but the atmosphere here is so weird. It's so weird. Anyway, so this is the award. It's the Presidential Volunteer Service Award. And it just shows. But it was just kind of like a big F you, the fact they didn't give it to me. And they gave it to everyone else. If they didn't give it to everyone else, I would have been like, oh, okay, whatever. But, like, they gave it to everyone else, and I just thought, like, it was just like a big F you. So I'm getting out of here because I hate being here. I came here recently, was talking to, like, future graduates or whatever about, like, how I got a job and stuff. Because I was like, um, trying to like pay it forward. I don't even know if anyone listened, but I remember their, I don't know, I remember someone else did it for us and it was like out of the kindness of their hearts and like they definitely didn't have to come here and talk to us, but I thought it was just kind of comforting. So it was nice, you know, of course, like there are certain things, yeah. So that's why I came here like a long time ago. I'm going to the Best Buy to go pick up. It's really cool because you can go curbside and they'll give you the thing and you don't even have to get down. I freaking love that. Um, I've heard that Target also does that, which is pretty neat. Paper. Oh, good. There's some person here. Email? Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay. Everything will be emailed to you right now. So I was like, why do they have these? And it's because of the fact that like people order like big stuff like a girl over there is trying to deliver like someone with like a big TV. My brother's gift. So yeah, I am looking for the Dollar Tree. It says that it's like right over there, so I'm gonna go there. Yeah. I've gotten like so many things checked off my list, so I 
picked up my Best Buy, picked up my award, I picked up, all right, returned my phone case. So it's been productive. Everything's very fast. So nothing takes too much time. Now I'm just gonna go to Dollar Tree, pick up um, wrapping paper. I'm still not sure how to control this camera. But here is the Dollar Tree. This one's pretty cute. I just did this one. I feel like I'm my mom, like I'm going all overboard with the stuff. But I want to get my dog something technically for Christmas. Let's see. These are kind of cute. So, I got some dog treats for my dogs because why not? <laughs> I don't know, maybe this will be their Christmas gift, whatever. Um, I got some, these look like human food, so I was like, maybe my dogs will like it. Um, these, it's like a smoked press bone, and then they always like these for some reason, so. Wrapping paper, which is like the only thing I came here for. And then I got this because of the fact that like, I might need, um, for some of my gifts, I need, um, the paper Ooh. and then this is the just dance i have that i have like so much stuff that i like got today um now the only thing i needed to do now was get my eyebrows done i know like i'm slowly like stripping off clothes which is kind of weird but whatever um but i just want to say um so i know like i bitch a lot about how hard my job is but sometimes i'm like i forget like Every day you get the chance, as like a, as a nurse, that like you get the chance to like literally change people's lives. It's just really cool because of course like ER is like very fast, but um, with being fast, there comes like pros. Like take for example, when she came in, she literally couldn't move the left or right side, I forgot. But then after we gave her medication and like we treated her and we did everything for her and we did all this stuff, her left side started moving again. And it's really cool to see, you know, like, we're actually, like, changing people's life. It's so crazy. And no matter how hard it is, I am, like, thankful that I get to do this every day. Um, it's really rewarding at the end of the day. So, I just wanted to put that in there. It, at the end of the day, like, we're literally... I'm not gonna say saving lives because medicine saves lives, but we're like changing people's lives because of what we do. So, I don't know. I was like in my car thinking that the whole time, so I was like, I wanted to share it. So, I'm gonna clean my car real quick. Yeah, so I bought. Some fig in a cave. It's a gray one. This is the one everyone wears at work. Wanna what see figs? Huh? They're expensive. This was 68. Yeah. I think I got this one. It's nice though. Yeah. But you need to iron it. Yeah, these are the things. How can you put it on the floor? How can you put it on the floor? I need to move out. Okay, let's see. This isn't probably like that much wrapping paper. Then. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Finally finished wrapping and then these are the other guns back there. I'm gonna take a thumbnail Merry Christmas guys! Merry Christmas my love! Happy genius gift for you! Yeah! So right now I'm just doing some editing hence my laptop um, I use this here all freaking day and to study and now I never use my laptop anymore because I never even 
But I really like how everyone's commenting on the vlogs now, and I think it's really cool. <coughs> also, whoever um, messaged me or commented about the Elenium tickets, um, <coughs> I would go Saturday, but I have work Sunday, so it'd be kind of like irresponsible for me if I went on Saturday. I don't think I updated everyone, so yesterday we... Um, Alex and I met up and we decided which hotel we were going to stay at. It's really, really cheap. Um, River Leaf Inn in Mission Valley. I'm excited because me and Alex haven't done a trip since, um, I think, Vegas. It's like, we do like one trip a month. I know he doesn't watch these vlogs, that's why I'm going to say it. But, <laughs> which is sad. Like, I was going to surprise him by paying for his, um, the annual pass, like the, just like the down payment. Because we didn't really get each other any, like, we really don't get each other gifts anymore. That's why I was like, we didn't get each other anything for our um, anniversary. But I feel like the longer you're together, like, that's a common thing where you don't get gifts anymore. It's more like we just, like, pay for, like, trips and, like, plan stuff together. Which, like, I'm totally okay with because, um, I don't know, like, when you get older, it's like you don't really need all the gifts and stuff. I did to go on my cycling thing. I love doing yoga, but every once in a while I want to do something different. So I signed up. This is not sponsored at all. But I signed up for class pass, and I'm super excited to try out some different classes. So like I'm signed up for cycling, and then tomorrow early and early in the morning, I signed up for some like hit class. <laughs> it's in near like Huntington Beach. Um, it's like six to seven, and then I have a lot of things. I have a lot of work stuff to do tomorrow. Anyway, I'll see you guys later after I finish vlogging or finish editing. That's weird because I go to the twenty-four. I've been to the twenty-four across the street and then the core power, and I've always seen this. Like whenever I'm like going home. That's why I wanted to try it out. I also realized... <clears throat> yeah, I have my own cycling shoes. They're my mom's, but she never uses them anymore, so I decided to use them. I'll show you before I go in, because I don't know how I'm going to actually vlog. Yeah, so I have my own cycling shoes. So yeah, I'm going to go inside, and I'll see you guys in a few. I don't even read it, this whole cycle. I'm gonna go inside because people are staring at me and I hate it when people do that. Okay, I just got out of my class. Oh my god. <clears throat> so it's a little weird. I don't know. Like, it was really good, but like. I'm not even gonna lie, like literally in the middle of class, I thought that I was having an asthma attack. It was like so hard to the point where I was like having problems breathing. And I know it was probably just me, but I was like really like freaking out because I was like, oh my God. Like what, I was thinking, I was like, what am I gonna do if I have a freaking asthma attack right now? And I was like, I do not have an inhaler for this. Like I haven't had an asthma attack since I was like in the first grade. So I was like freaking out. And then they have like little strobe lights and stuff. And I don't know if that's like also what kind of like contributed to it, but I was like freaking out. But they're really nice. I'm like, sorry, this is like TMI, but I'm trying to take off my sports bra. But um, they gave me like this $50 gift card thing. But it was like weird because they were like, it's only good for today. And I was like, literally, I only have like an hour left. But I like didn't want to feel like pressured to do it. And I never really do anymore. I used to feel bad and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, like I'll try it out. But now I'm just like literally, I just like, wanted to leave because I was having problems breathing. So I like ran to the bathroom and like caught my breath. So. I don't know. I felt like I was going to throw up. Like, that class is really hard. I don't know why. I used to always do cycling classes and have no problem. Head home now. Exhausted. But yeah, oh my god. The class was fucking hard. Okay, I'm gonna go home now.